Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces and Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Cosmic Guides, all beings of the highest and purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Pisces and Sarah family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? So, hello, my lovers. How y'all doing? Um, this is going to be a wolf spirit animal reading, okay? So, I was just sitting around minding my business and I... I smelled mustard okay so um at first it gives me like a few things okay so it gave me color which talks about um how mustard can have both positive and negative associations okay so it says in france and germany mustard yellow can symbolize jealousy weakness cowardice contradiction and materialism so you could be dealing with people outside of you who, I don't know, carry these traits and characteristics, okay? It says it can also imply arrogance and mismanagement of wealth because of its resemblance to gold. So um, it says mustard can also symbolize creativity, diversity, optimism, and acceptance, you know? I don't know. You could find yourself feeling like in this energy where you're really understanding of other people, I think. Like, I think you might know some people that carry these traits, maybe not all of these traits together. It says beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity. That's what my quote app just that that quote of the day popped up. And that's what it says. Beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity. So like I was saying, I think this is really something that you're really working on doing, you know, focus on growing that mustard seed of faith that you've been holding on to, you know, this entire life. I heard your whole life. OK, <laughs> so um, next is the mustard seed. You know, it says in the Bible, Jesus uses the parable of the mustard seed to teach that all small beginnings can grow into something great. OK, so this is what I'm saying at this time you may have had a really small beginning or whatever but I think you're growing and expanding into something just great and beautiful and you just need to continue to do that I think the way that you're caring for yourself and focusing on building yourself up is great you might feel a little stuck with this hangman energy right here but I feel like you're put where you are at this time for you to receive as much enlightenment as possible and for you to go ahead and continue or finish making this radical change that you've been making at this time you know you could be releasing a lot of different energies out of your life and the, the energies that do seem kind of negative or whatever you're digging deeper now and trying to understand those things you know and also I was hearing something about being the lone wolf you know you might consider yourself a lone wolf but I think you might be attracting like a whole pack of people who are just like you you know be that, you know, through like this type of thing where you're attracting the audience that's just right for you or in, in your personal life and you're just attracting people who have that same independent, brave and passionate spirit the way that you do. And it's just gorgeous. OK, also, you could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius or you could be becoming more accepting of an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Maybe that person could have been on the hunt trying to take you out, but they're giving up because they can't take you out of your strength, you know, and this power that you're standing in, baby, it's amazing and gorgeous. And this is what I was saying with this Taurus energy, with this um, sisterhood, you're attracting people who are on your same vibrational wavelength. And I think that could be something that you really never seen happening. <laughs> like maybe you think or you thought you were going to have to wait a long time for this kind of energy, but you just really don't, you know, it says the parable compares the kingdom of heaven to a mustard seed that a man plants in a field which starts small but grows into a large tree that birds can nest in some say this parable can also mean that true faith from God can grow 
to immense proportions and influence others, you know, and that's what I was getting from that energy of the small tree. I mean, the small seed growing into this large tree and being a nest, you know, being able to have a nest placed in you where birds can connect with you. So, you know, birds for me really symbolize that connection from the divine and them communicating with you often, especially when it comes to you channeling or giving that help or that beautiful positive influence to others that you naturally give, you know? So great, just great, okay? It says, in some cultures, white mustard flowers can symbolize trust, dignity, fertility, abundance, rebirth, and vitality, okay? Um, it also says, for example, in Japan, white mustard flowers mark the arrival of spring and a time of renewal and growth, you know, and I think that these people that are coming in are going to really renew you in a very special way, okay? I got a Facebook notification for someone's birthday. It could be your birthday. Happy birthday, my love, okay? You also could be a life path number one or nine or 11, or you could just be seeing um, a lot of numbers with zero, like you might see zero, 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 nine, or you might see like 900, or you might be seeing um, like 800, you know, numbers with the number zero, or you might even be seeing yourself catching all zeros, which is a really good sign for me. That's a sign that God is in your energy, you know? So it says, mm, let me see. I think that was good. So next I smelled lettuce, okay? And I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that lettuce? <laughs> uh, that tripped me out, you know, but it smelled like iceberg lettuce to me, just like in the air, okay? So let's see what, what the lettuce has to say. So lettuce represents fertility, okay? It says in ancient Egypt, lettuce was also associated with the fertility of the god men for 3,000 years dating back to at least 2700 bc the milky sap that oozed from the plant when a leaf was torn off was thought to help men perform sexually it says lettuce was also depicted in a myth where Horus tricks set by throwing his semen into a lettuce plant, which set then eats. Okay, so mm, I don't really know what I'm getting from that, you know, like that kind of gives me a lot of different energies. I don't know, maybe you could be attracting a lover or something like this, okay, which is what I'm getting from all of this semen and sex talk, okay, or maybe you could just be like building up your energy by not performing sexually, you know? Also, someone could be trying to trick you into like, I don't know, I'm not trying to be nasty, y'all, but this is what I'm getting, you know? Someone could be trying to trick you into like taking in their semen or I don't know, something with this is crazy. So it says, in the Passover cinder ritual, Romaine lettuce is used as a bitter herb to symbolize the bitterness of the Egyptians' treatment of the Israelites during slavery. So somebody's bitter. Maybe that person's bitter because you don't want to entertain them sexually or whatever, you know. They could be mourning you. They could be losing sleep because this, this is what it represents. Bitterness, sleep, mourning. Food for the dead and prosperity, you know. I think while you're becoming prosperous and attracting these newer type of energies into your life, someone's being very, very bitter about that and losing much sleep over it. Because I think maybe they were doing some sort of sex magic, you know, involving their semen or whatever, which is kind of gross, okay? Could have, if you're a man, you know, they could have like collected it or taken some of your shit or whatever, which is hella weird, okay? And could be trying to do some sort of, ritual with it you know on your energy so like be very careful okay what you do with it <laughs> and also ladies be very careful of you know who you're entertaining at this time okay so it says in ancient egypt the lettuce family was associated with sleep as well as fertility it says prickly lettuce has been associated with mourning by some it says aphrodite is said to have laid adonis in a bed of lettuce which has led to lettuce being associated with the food for the dead. Very interesting, okay? So also I feel like, you know, when it comes to certain energies, they're presenting like the dead. And I mean like in a zombie type of way, not in a, <laughs> not in a like, you know, embracing of the death cycle and, you know, going on to rebirth and fertility, you know? 
And I think this is definitely some, this fer fertile energy that you're in is definitely something that someone is trying to affect in some sort of way, you know? So I think that could have been why you were in this lone wolf energy for so long. I think you really can feel the threats, you know, but spirits also ask you to be very aware of who it is that you need to let in right now, you know? Don't have your walls up so much that you're blocking out emotional things that you need, you know? Don't be have your walls up so hard that you lose actual friends and actual people who really give a shit about you, you know? Because I know sometimes when you get to this place and you know everything and you keep getting all of these messages and sometimes it's kind of hard to place who or what that like who which person that is specifically about and sometimes it's spot on and it's just something you just know but sometimes there can be a question you know sometimes you're dealing with multiple energies that you have to choose from and that could totally be a thing for you also you know so just really trust yourself at this time follow your intuition and really pay attention to anybody who seems kind of bitter you know and also sometimes they're saying that this bitterness can be a morning of someone's past energy that they're currently releasing and they could be a part of your soul family, a part of your wish fulfillment. Some mother figure could really have a problem with you receiving these gifts that you're receiving at this time, you know? But I think it just really doesn't matter what anyone else wants for you at this time. You just have to focus on your own prosperity and growth and spreading as much good fortune as you can in this lifetime, you know, in every moment. And you'll be just like perfectly fine and beautiful, my love. So, what is this overall energy? How are we <laughs> How are we seeing my beautiful collective? What's their energy right now? Okay, we got music and we got pride and we got change at the bottom of the deck, you know. I'm here and I ain't too proud to beg, you know. So, I don't know. You could have like some sort of connection through some with someone through this energy of music or someone could be sending you a lot of music messages or you could just be flowing with the music that the universe naturally creates, you know, and could be in a very musical type of energy. I think you could be making someone put their pride to the side when it comes to you. You know what I'm saying? But also, I feel like you could be just in this beautiful royal energy of pride where you're just very proud of where you are and you're proud of how far you've come and that's really good you know I think some people could be misinterpreting that or as like you know oh you changed and now you think you're better or whatever but I think that you know the two of you whoever's judging you in this way could be that that mother figure or whatever you know whoever's judging you in this way you guys just don't see things the same you see these faces pointing two different ways you know this is also a butterfly okay it's called the twin jet so it's like somebody just really doesn't agree with the way that you have transformed. And, you know, I think that's just like really not your problem. <laughs> I think that you're just in a really dynamic place and they would love to see you fall from that higher perspective or lose that higher perspective that you have on the way that you're going. But I just don't see that really happening for you, you know. So continue to make this music and to continue to keep that pride about what you're doing and the ways that you changed and the ways that you're growing and expanding because this is what's attracting this beautiful uh, stability to you. That's the emperor. You could literally be attracting an emperor or an empress to yourself at this time, okay? A king of cups, someone who's very emotionally mature. What's coming toward them, okay? So we got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? <laughs> so beautiful things coming toward you. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you, okay? Or it could just be a lot of different energies that you've been wanting to attract to yourself for a while. You could be working very hard, okay? Also, there's some exposure of some sort of group or some sort of secret society dealings going on around you at this time also, so more, I heard instincts, more of that energy of you following your instincts, you know, trusting in your star power at all times, at all costs, you know, you're in a very beautiful place and you really do have the authority and you really do have the choices to make, to do whatever it is that you need to do. But also this sun energy, 
I don't know, maybe like this sudden realization, you could be receiving epiphanies, your solar plexus could be extremely strong. And that could be why it's a lot easier for you to ground manifestations at this time. And also, I feel like spirit's just bringing in like a whole nother level of information, a whole nother level of your gifts, a whole nother level of like this energy that you could have felt like, you know, was a very high energy. I think that spirit's bringing in a lot of information that's going to let you know that like, no, you're, you're just now getting tapped into the real shit. You know what I mean? So just trust your path. Okay. With the ace of stakes, because your, your intuition is always leading you into a big, beautiful beginning and a big, beautiful, you know, flavorful future just for you. So like really trust in that. And when it comes to conflict outside of you or people who have a problem with that, just know that they're handled and that now is the time for you to celebrate with this three of cups energy. There's no more of this sad energy for you. And some people could be experiencing that kind of energy on the outside of you. So don't let it slow you down. Don't let it get you down. Just, you know, be supportive supportive in the moments that you can if you can and if they're hell bent on just being in a place of conflict with you then know that it's okay to like release that kind of energy and say no thank you you know I choose not to participate okay so what is the outcome of this or I want to say like how how are the things that are coming in for them going to improve their energy? We got wells, thermal spring returning to source, okay? So you're coming to this place where you're about to feel a lot more nourished, a lot more held, a lot more connected to the divine. And it's going to be e easier for things to like spring up in your life and up in your energy. And I feel like these energies, you know, because if you think about a thermal spring, it's a very relaxing type of thing. It's a very healing type of thing. You know, it's a it's a spa type of type of place okay and so I feel like not only is this kind of like relaxing healing energy coming in because of all of this new information and all of the things that spirit's making you much more aware of but you're going to bring that kind of like relaxed healing energy to a lot of other people you know who really need that type of vibe from you we got the sacred king with the oath at the bottom of the deck and the willy willy the wisp with jack-o-lantern with fire at the under that, you know, so I feel like, you know, that beautiful fire baby <laughs> it is alive and well within you, you know, like I tell you guys quite often, you guys are amazing, doing so good in such an amazing place, you know, and I find it so funny that a lot of people really don't like the positive messages as much, you know, <laughs> like, so... That could be significant because I really don't know why I said that. So that could really resonate with you. You know, I feel like you could find yourself being around quite a few people at this time who really don't want to hear that positive, upbeat, uplifting shit that you have to say. They would rather you gossip or they would rather you be stuck on a negative vibration and you're just not there. So when you see them or when you feel them lose that interest, right? Because I can tell when people are done with me, done talking to me, done with my reading or whatever it is way before they can tell that they're done, you know? And some people, I'll even tell them like, no, you're done. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they'll be like, no, I still have, no, you're done though. So I think that you need to really be aware of that type of energy too. Like no one spirit is calling you back, telling you to stop, telling you to pull back so that you're not like, taking over the situation with your fire, like still have, like, I know you're very passionate and you feel very strongly about the things that you do and the energy that you have to offer. And even sometimes you can be very passionate about wanting to like over help someone, but sometimes you have to let people figure it out for themselves. And spirit's always going to give you that really big nudge when you're healing and you're beautiful, you know, thermal relaxing type of energy is really just not required anymore in that situation. And you have to have the wisdom to really recognize that for yourself and for the situation that you're in with whoever you're in you know but also I feel like this new relaxing healing type of energy is bringing in like I want to say the end of, of a cycle but also it's making your intuition a lot stronger because it's the number 38 which is the number 11 you know making your intuition so heightened making the voice of source or the voice of God much more louder within you, you know? You also could be a life path number three or eight or four or seven, okay? 
I didn't expect to get that much out of that card, okay? <laughs> so it says, you want to manifest your interior changes in your outer world in concrete ways. The upwelling of the goddess is forming within you. You may feel, no, you may be feeling a bit impatient to get out of there because the upwelling of your inner life requires exterior expression, affirmation, and contact with others. Like a spring rising to the surface of the land, your talents and insights beg expression in the world. Now is the time to put your dreams into... Now's the time to, hold on, I lost my place because I got distracted. <laughs> mm, now's the time to put your dreams into specific products and activities, okay? It says, whatever hesitancies you may have, it is time to let them go. You have the energy that you need. No more practicing and preparing to begin. Get going one step at a time. You must begin by taking the first step and then another. Do not let seeing the big picture intimidate you. Just take the next step toward manifesting your dreams and talents in the world. Okay, and then it says begin. So definitely that's what this new energy is bringing in a lot more clarity about where it is that you want to go boosting that confidence you know because i did say your solar plexus is popping boosting that confidence and really hearing what the divine wants you to do and what things they really want you to have your hands in and you feeling very secure and comfortable in what it is that you heard within yourself and really just following that unapologetically you know without any fear we got the queen of keys really setting up your plans in a very positive way and expressing the music that you have to offer to the world with this amazing pride and not really worrying about who's questioning your journey or what it is that they have to say or how they feel about it. And it's beautiful. OK, you could be um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. OK, there's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I already said Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. OK. I'm here. I'm like the earth is catching my attention. So earth signs. OK, we got caught in the ruins. But like I said, with that hangman energy, you can feel like you're stuck or like you're caught up in some sort of way. But you really, truly are not. You're just being educated, having this new information and energy being delivered to you, you know with this Knight of Pentacles energy, exposing a lot of beautiful parts of yourself within while a lot of things are being exposed on the outside of you. So it might feel a little crazy, you know, but you just have to go with the flow. Like I'm recording so much later <laughs> than I usually do. But, you know, spirit had me, spirit was showing things to me and um, <sighs> really doing, they doing something in my energy right now, okay? Something very interesting, and I think that it's just the same way for you, and I think you just need to be really open to what they're doing and really work with them in a major way. What's music and pride? We got the chess game, okay, with the three of keys. I think, um, like people could be trying to see how they're going to make their next move on you, or like they see what has come into you, or they're about to see how shit is about to go, you know, and this is not going to be something that's going to sit well on the hearts of certain people who are actually caught in the ruins around you. So just continue to keep this higher perspective. This is that higher perspective I was talking about because the queen of keys is looking at the land from the castle or whatever, from a tower or whatever it is. So you need to keep that higher perspective and like, don't let the intaking of this information sort of drive you crazy because sometimes spirit doing this can make you feel a little bit frantic or make you feel like things aren't working out for the best, but they're truly working out for the betterment of you and for your journey. So always trust in that. What's music and pride, okay? We got the queen of forces or the queen of cups with that beautiful emotional balance, bringing in this amazing flawless balance where you're working with all the elements. You're standing firm in the way that you feel, but also leaving room for, you know, for the nudges from your intuition and leaving room for, for certain things to be uncovered and discovered within yourself. And it's just really great, okay? What's um, music and pride? We got the seven of forces with this energy of balance, you know, when it comes to all of these sneaky things that people might still be doing or these sneaky things that things that people have come in to try to do to you in the past, you know, like it's really is an end of that time. And also you could be 
um, about to receive some sort of letter, some sort of news. But like I said, you're also receiving this very divine information from spirit. And also with all this law books, I heard um, all these law books on the wall in this seven of forces card. I heard a deeper understanding of universal law, okay, which is going to bring you to a, a deeper state of peace, okay, with this six of keys or this six of swords energy at the bottom of the deck, bringing in that much more calm energy to you. And also with the four of keys, bringing in a lot more peace when it comes to your mind and that peace that comes to your mind and your heart is going to spread out to anyone, you know, in close proximity of you, okay? We got the four roses at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is the reason why you get to go into this energy of celebration. It's like you've put it into some sort of war that was going on within you. You purged and released. Come on, okay? They talking to you. <laughs> the wolf spirit animal got a lot to say, okay? Look. So with the four of roses, like I said, you released a lot of things that weren't serving you in order to get to this place of celebration. And didn't I say something about you growing into this big tree and becoming a place where, you know, other energies can benefit from becoming a home and a nest for others. And it's like you ended this war within yourself with this beautiful transmutation that you have done. So you've been entered into this school of higher learning, this deeper level of connection with the spirit and with the divine and who's talking to you. And, you know, what exactly it is that they want you to do, just this energy of clarity of them clearing the road for you 100 percent completely so that you can spring up and grow whatever it is that you've been trying to grow so long with that beautiful fertility. OK. And with the three of scrolls, this is something that's coming in very quick. You could be feeling very inspired with this muse energy, or you could just be this beautiful muse for other people. And I think that is starting to really show in your life. Like it's manifesting as more motivation and more focus and a clearer vision of where you need to go for you, you know? I love when they, when they get to channeling like this. It's my fave. All right, so what's going on with these this information that's coming in toward them? Okay, we got justice showing up, okay, and then we got the five of swords. Um, so maybe certain information about things that you couldn't have, that you really couldn't let go, you know, okay, with the six of cups, things of the past, maybe certain situations that may have pushed you into hermit mode to even get you to this place where you're discovering your potential and all the options that you do have. I think you could be attracting a lot more clarity about those happenings and those situations in your life. Um, what's the queen of keys, the knight of pentacles? Okay, we got judgment. <laughs> So, um, like I said, as you're receiving this information and exposing these more beautiful parts within you, people around you are being exposed. And that's why it's important for you to keep your higher perspective on them and on the situations that you're in and on the situations that you've been through. And stop looking at yourself like you're caught up or like you're stuck or whatever. Or like, you know, you made the wrong move the last time you got the chance to make a move in this game we call life, you know. What's uh, caught in the ruins, the Knight of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hierophant? We got the Two of Wands, okay? Like this energy of you choosing to look at yourself as someone who's already expansive, someone who's already moved forward, you know? Let me get another one for that. Okay. Thank you. It's the Three of Wands in reverse, okay? This is what I'm saying. It's like you don't see these things coming. You don't see this this type of enlightenment or energy coming for you. Even though you've been doing all this purging and renewing in order to prepare for it, it's almost like maybe you don't believe that it's coming in. That's what I heard. Belief. Excuse me. That's confirmation. But you still have that faith of the mustard seed, you know as you should. And I think there were a lot of people trying to tamper with your energy on the outside of you. And I think just feeling the punches of that and really trying to focus on where it is that you're going and what it is that you're trying to do along the way could have just been too much for a little bit. But please um, try to keep your mind very positive because you're manifesting at a rapid rate, whether you know it or not. Because sometimes it can seem like, you know, oh, I'm doing all this work and journaling. I'm doing everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm meditating. I'm doing everything. And I just don't see much of a change. 
but it takes a little bit for certain manifestations to come in sometimes. So don't give in to doubt is what I heard. What's the three of keys, the chess game, knight of pentacles, the sun and the hierophant, the strength card, you know? It's like you need to believe in your strength, okay? Know that you have been made into like this whole different creation by your father, okay? This is, um, I can't think of his name. This is Cyborg, okay? Cyborg's father turned him into this, this machine, okay? He upgraded him with alien technology, literally, okay? Cyborg's father upgraded his 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 whole body with this alien technology because he was dying okay and that was the thing that saved his life and cyborg became this beautiful hero okay of course you know in the comic books he has these times where he feels like such a villain and he really doesn't like himself and all of these different things but he eventually steps into this his strength and becomes the true leader that he's always meant to be and this is the same way that your father works with you in spirit, baby. It's no different. So don't be afraid that you're going to run into this energy of heartbreak again, okay? Because you deserve this beautiful, stable energy that you're attracting. And your cup is overflowing a lot more beautifully than you're giving yourself credit for also. What's the queen of forces, the knight of pentacles, the sun and the hierophant? It's the ace of pentacles, okay? So know that like this is where your treasure lies. You staying in touch with that beautiful balanced energy and keep incorporating all the elements and doing everything you've been doing. Nothing you've been doing is wrong. And it's important that you don't look at yourself like you're doing nothing wrong. What's the seven of forces, the knight of pentacles? We got the five of swords, okay? So when it does come to like this contact or this justice or these options that are being open, it was very important for these people who can't let things go or who want to win over your energy at all costs to be released out of your life. And also, it was important that you left these certain ways of thinking behind that you wouldn't let go within yourself. What's the six of keys? Okay. The king of cups. So, I don't know. It's almost like... First of all, you could have been really hurt in the past by some Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy, you know, and I think that could have really had a bit a big effect on you and the way that you look at yourself and the way that you trust people outside of you. But you don't have to about, have to worry about this type of energy coming back around again. But also the King of Cups gives me this. This energy, okay, with all of this lightning and this cup overflowing, you know, it gives me a very positive energy too, you know, like you're this king of cups, effortlessly calling these epiphanies into yourself, but being able to do that with the beautiful energy, that beautiful balanced energy that the feminine brings within you, you know, what's the four of keys, the knight of pentacles, the sun and the hierophant, we got the seven of wands, okay. So spirit is not only clearing the way for you at this time, but really helping you when it comes to standing your ground because they need you to take in this information that you've been taking in so that you can become this beautiful leader with that earth angel energy the way that you're always meant to be. And that's why you could be feeling stuck or feeling like you're in some sort of tower, but really it's a good tower and it's bringing you in from a colder place where you used to be. Like you really are set up and in a good position for yourself and for your future. And the wolf spirit animal really like really wants you to know that, you know, I can feel like <laughs> I want to say I can feel the emphasis. OK, <laughs> we got the five of wands, you know, but it was very important that you learn to like clear up what was going on within you and stand your ground against the thoughts of your ego that was trying to uh, creep in. And this is something that you have been successful at doing. So really keep it up because these things really truly do bring you closer to God, you know, to the source of all life, baby. We got the fire element. We got more Libra energy, more scales. OK, so beautiful balance. What's the queen of keys, the judgment and returning to source? We got square. OK, it says a challenge. 
a challenging situation or a mountain to climb. I feel like you could have felt like you were climbing this mountain to get this karmic justice forever, you know? Like, I'm never going to get out of these damn ruins with these people. But it's not even about that. It's all about you changing your perspective and how you're viewing the people and the situations that you're going with them that brings you out of that. And I feel like you're finally starting to look at things in that right way. Starting to not look at these people like such a challenge anymore. What's caught in the ruins, the two of wands, the three of wands and returning to source. It says imbalance, a point of tension and a power struggle, you know. And, you know, this is that energy that I was talking about. It's like you could have been slightly imbalanced for a long period of time because of this certain point of tension or this power struggle that like your higher consciousness and your ego were having with each other. Like you were really in this energy of opposition within yourself. And I'm hearing like you were your biggest op for a very long time. And this is something that you have been able to heal within yourself. Now you're playing on your own team. And that's very powerful. What's the three of keys, the strength card, and returning to source? Okay, we got yang energy, which talks about proactivity, expression, doing, and forward motion, you know. So really standing in your strength by learning the lesson from these heartaches that you've been through in the past in the game of life, you know. Flexing that strength and, and really showing people how to really grow and develop themselves also. Like you're such a good example and role model to people. What's the Queen of Forces and the Ace of Pentacles? We got Cancer, which is also Queen of Forces energy, that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But it says uh, nurture, comfort, and protection. So all of this nurturing, it's like you were, it's like half of you was standing your ground against the other half for so long. And now you're in this place where you're nurturing and comforting yourself the way that you were always intuitively called to do. And that's why you're making this movement forward. So really continue to trust in your journey, baby. Continue to do it. You know, I'd be saying like, I know I say this all the time and I'll say it a million more times. Okay, you are amazing. You are wonderful. This path, this journey that you're walking is perfect for you and the way that you're doing it is perfect. Okay, I'm here to be that motivation, baby. I want us all to rise to the place that God wants us to be at. What's the seven of forces and the five of swords and returning to source? We got Saturn, okay, with feel restricted experience struggle learn hard work and patience and this is what you have been doing while you were working on releasing this thing you know like this subconscious thing that you were having such a hard time letting go of like you were creating this illusion that you were stuck or that you were restricted for your own self you know and sometimes we get so caught up on focusing on what people outside of us are doing to us and how they're attacking us. And we don't think of all of the different ways that we could be like, you know, knowingly or unknowingly attacking and sabotaging ourselves. And I think spirit has come in and really exposed those things to you. And this is what's got that new beautiful light coming in. OK, with Neptune, they have reawakened your passion and your I want to say it says dream and transcend. OK, so like reawakened your dreams, reawakened your goals, reawakened these things within you that you want to accomplish that you forgot you wanted to accomplish so so long ago, you know. So just go with it because there is nothing but beautiful things happening in your energy. OK, what's the six of keys and the king of cups and returning to source? This is a beautiful message, okay? <laughs> we got water, y'all. I never know what I'm going to talk about, okay? So, <laughs> but water is perfect because like I said, it's under the six of keys or the six of swords, which talks about going into that calmer water, but doing it in a way with this masculine emotional energy, you know what I mean? Where you're making this movement forward and you have so much love and compassion in everything that you do, but you're still very successful. Because you're operating out of the side of you that takes very, like, successful actions, okay? And it says spirituality, emotion, intuition, and compassion. 
Like, it's beautiful. You've become a master of these things within yourself. What's the four of keys? Um, oh, that's the eight of wands. Okay, that's crazy. But everything stands with the seven of wands energy that I was giving, you know. But the eight of wands with this clearing the way is a whole nother thing. You know what I mean? That's the way being cleared very fast. And also the eight of wands can talk about love rushing in too. I think so many different just like improvements going on in your life, but it's all because of the way you embrace that beautiful Scorpio energy. Now you're doing it. Now you're releasing things and being very open to what's coming. And you might be still a little bit hesitant in those things, but you're still even willing to look at it or even willing to take that step or even willing to entertain what the divine is really truly saying to you now. So just keep it right there, baby. We got Scorpio. And then it says intensity, exposing, purging and renewing. OK, which is perfect. That's what you're doing. You have purged and now you're in this state of renewal and it can feel very intense and you can feel very exposed when it comes to other people, when it comes to exposing your vulnerable side to folks. But you just really don't have to. And also, I feel like your energy being so big and powerful the way that it is, it could have the ability to make others feel exposed, you know. And that could be why some people pull back around you. Not necessarily because they don't like you or they don't fuck with you or they don't support you and what you do or who you are. But sometimes they're just not, they're still caught in the ruins and they're just not quite ready to face certain things within themselves. And they literally cannot handle your undivided attention because it's so healing and it makes them feel very vulnerable. So you just have to give people their time and really understand that the power of your energetic, you know, output that you give is, you know, a little bit much. And it can be kind of overwhelming for certain people. We got house eight, you know, you make people transform. You bring forward their karma and the fears that they are kind of afraid to face at the time. And you also bring this energy in that reminds them that they have a legacy and they have something more important that they have to go on and do. And, you know, that can be a lot of pressure because you hear these types of things from spirit all the time. So, you know, this energy of you being very patient with people. I parted the deck on conjunction, okay? It says a union emerging and a coming together, okay? So a deeper union emerging and coming together with the beautiful source energy that, you know, that major is what I'm hearing. So uh, what's the final thought? And then we got creator water at the bottom of the deck, you know? So back to this, that spirituality and that emotional output, that beautiful intuition and compassion that you operate with is very important, you know. And we got creator earth also because you are a beautiful master manifester, capable of grounding any and everything. And spirit is about to really show out and prove that thing to you. Because at this time, your soul is on fire and the mission statement that you have made for your soul is a very successful one and one that you will definitely be able to uphold within yourself. So you're about to be celebrating a lot of wins for yourself that I don't think you really expected to be celebrating for yourself in this lifetime. And that's beautiful. OK, what's the final thought on this? We got the edge of evolution feels messy, which is perfect, you know with all that energy of you feeling like you're caught in the ruins or you're going through some sort of tower or whatever. It has to get messy sometimes. Everything has to, you know, sometimes they're showing me like a canvas, you know what I mean? And you painting all these very straight lines or whatever and then just like taking your hands and mixing it all up together. Sometimes, yeah, that picture of those cute little straight lines would have been a good picture. But I think there's so much more to interpret and so much more for things for so many more things and different ways of looking at that thing that people can get if you mix it up and do all of this with your hands, then it's like, oh, okay, this is art. Of course, they can appreciate the straight line thing, but a lot of people are looking for something they can look at from a lot of different angles and get a lot of different things from. And this is the kind of path you're being walked down so that you can attract those kinds of people, you know, with many different perspectives and be able to meet those people where they are, you know, and still be in yourself and operating out of your own very powerful, very authentic energy. So... What does it say? It says, cut the cords of doubt. Okay, that's the page that I opened to. So know that you're rising against the odds at this time. 
and you are on the way to fulfilling your soul path, you know. So try not to be in that place where you're feeling constrained by all of the doubt and fear to the point where you're not taking chances. It says choosing to skip your amazing opportunities and stay in the comfy zone. So also spirit giving you this big boot in the butt, kicking you out of that comfort zone and forcing you to go out and get the things that they really truly do have for you, you know, and not taking something and settling for that just because you feel like that's what you can attain. You can attain any and everything that you reach for you know, with the proper work and, you know, um, like with the proper effort and that belief and that that realization that God helps you and meets you halfway with that thing. As long as you have those three things, you can you can accomplish anything. So it says the essential meanings are evolution of the soul, rapid change, growth and a plethora of new opportunities and surrendering to uncertainty. OK, the self-care message talks about a need to trust, not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, accepting new teachings and the wonderful unknown, giving yourself. OK, and the wonderful unknown, giving yourself permission to fail in order to grow, you know. It says the edge of change is veritable, is a veritable cornucopia of opportunity. When you think of life as a giant, ever expanding puzzle, you will see that growth begins at the edges and that most of the excitement happens just beyond the boundaries of what you can perceive. And it happens just beyond the edges of your comfort zone. <laughs> It says, as things shift and germinate around you, you may notice how uncertain it feels beyond the known. It's time to bring yourself to your personal growth edge to look into the abyss of creation. Poke your toe into the open space that lies beyond and the right opportunity will, as if by magic, move into your awareness. This magical changing expanse is surging with the building blocks of all creation. This is where source energy is working on your behalf, bringing you the opportunities you have asked for. This is perfect, okay? It says everything and anything is possible during this time of rapid transformation. And as you stand at the precipice of your beautiful evolution, know that this energy is organic and malleable. Begin directing the landscapes of your reality that are coming into form, you know? So these things, these little questions that they give you, you know, a little food for thought. I really like them. So I'm going to share them with you. Okay. It says, are you giving yourself permission to try new things and to quite possibly fail a few times in order to find out what works? You know, don't give up on yourself. It says 1% better each day. Okay. So even if you're just getting 1% better each day, you're doing a lot better than a lot of people in this world who, you know, have been in the same place since they, like 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Like it says, do you rejoice in the unknown and partake in the adventure of your own evolution? Why not? Or how so? You know, it says, what areas of your life are you actively evolving and what puzzle pieces are you calling in to work with? If you could choose, what would be the next big piece to arrive, okay? So, you know, really think about that. What is the next big piece that you need to get one step further in your journey? You know what I mean? What is the big pieces of your puzzle that you feel would make you feel complete, you know? These are the things that, you know, God wants you to focus on at this time. I know this is the wolf, <laughs> the wolf spirit animal, but that is is the message, you know, God wants you to focus on what are these big pieces that you want to bring in, focusing more on those pieces and getting a clearer, clearer picture of what that looks like and how that plays out for you. And also not being too attached to what it is that you do manifest and knowing that, you know, there could be a little tweaks and changes here and there, but that you can still expect these things to work out for the highest good of you. Because sometimes we think we want this exactly like this and we want it to look like this and we want it to come like this. But, you know, those little changes that God makes, though it kind of irritates us in the beginning, in the end, it makes so much sense and it works out so much better for us. And we even be like, yeah, I don't know about you, but I giggle, you know, like, God, I'd be telling them like, you're so good, you know, 
like I could never guess the things that you're going to do in my life. Like, I love that. I love how God keeps me on my toes and really is able to surprise me with things and to for it to be a pleasant thing, you know, because I used to always say, like, I don't like surprises, but it was always because I was constantly getting surprised with negative energy. And I find that God has been really pleasant, me pleasantly surprising me lately. And I think this is energy that you're either in, you know, because of all the things you released or this energy that you're going through messiness to get to, you know. So just continue to like stay persistent, like stay the course because it's worth it. OK, so with that, I'm done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful and amazing day that you got something that you needed out of this. And I will see you later, my love. Bye.